What's up, guys? Got a new carburetor for this thing. Since the old one, I could not uh, adjust the idle. The screw was stripped out. So, this little screw right here would not work anymore. So, adjust your idle. So hopefully that will take care of the dying issue when I let off the throttle. See what happens. Alright, should be able to just reach in there and pop that linkage off. That. Now, if you don't have the proper little wrench here, you gotta loosen this nut right here, and the carburetor should slide out. I think I can get it with these pliers. We don't need no trash down in there. Yeah, this thing was toast. See the old one there? O ring. It's not very good shape. It's, like it's been leaking around that pretty good. Or at least that's what it looks like. But this, uh, this adjustment screw here actually does nothing. You can sit here and screw it all day long and it never goes in. So I'm thinking with the new O ring on this one and the adjustability right here. Oh, yeah, she's working. we will have a lot better running truck. Probably need to set this to factory. Which I believe is two and a half revolutions from all the way down. So, one, two, and a half. Well, that should be factory uh, starting out. I'm sure I'll have to fatten it up quite a bit. Now just work it back in there and make sure you got it seated all the way down. That way this O-ring seals up. Uh, also I would take a paper towel or something and kind of clean this area right there on the intake. A lot of trash can get built up right here. Look at all that mess. So anyways, clean that up. Get your carburetor stuck back in there and, and uh, before you get this real tight, I would hook up your linkage and turn your remote and stuff on and make sure that your uh, your throttle slide will clear right here because if you don't get it if you don't get it clocked just right, the throttle slide will hit your starter motor. So you might have to twist it just a little bit to get it to where it'll clear. So keep that in mind and let's get this put in. I'll be right back. All right, got her back in there. As you can see, if you don't have it clock just right, you can most definitely hit that. And uh, another thing I had to do, I forgot to tell you on the other video, or other clip, the uh, little spot where you hook the linkage up to needed to be spun. There's a little set screw right back here take that set screw loose and you can spin this whole thing and uh, also had to spin my fuel inlet to where it went that away but you just loosen up this uh, 
banjo fitting right here and put it wherever you want it or wherever you need it. Got my nut tightened back up. She's good and solid, so we'll get it back together and take it for a spin. So during this clip here, the truck was running really fat. If you can tell, or listen, you can tell that it's not shifting out into second. It's just barely revving up. So this was about four and a half turns out. I had to, uh, I turned it in a half a turn and that really picked it up. So on the next clip, you'll see it really starting to pick up and run good. So I got it running pretty good, but I still get this like dead spot in it. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I'm a little lean. I think I tried fatten it back up just a little bit, but it still uh, had a slight bit of a dead spot. Maybe it's getting too hot. Either way, it's definitely running really good, and uh, I'll be putting up some more videos of it running with the body on. We're going to build some jumps this weekend, and try to do a little bash and have a little fun with it. I know this back and forth is a little boring, but I was just trying to tune it and, and, and race it out to see how good it was going to do. But Thanks for watching, and uh, please come back and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.